Hi sweetie, so today we're gonna be making vegan chipotle mayo. So stay tuned. <laughs> These are the ingredients you will need. Chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, any vegan mayo, lime or lemon, and cilantro. Make sure to wash your cilantro in water with vinegar to remove all the dirt. If you're using a blender, I don't believe you need to chop your cilantro, but I did anyway just to ensure that it would be finely diced when put into the blender. I'm adding half a cup of mayo, but I think you should use a blender instead of a Nutribullet, and I'm gonna show you why in a few seconds. Then you add the juice of half a lime or lemon, whichever one you have. Make sure to add all your cilantro. I added three chipotle peppers, but depending on your heat tolerance, you're gonna wanna start with one and then gradually add on. One spice I forgot to mention earlier was garlic, and that is half a teaspoon of garlic. Now this is the reason I mentioned that you should use a blender, because <laughs> the produce dropped to the bottom, but the sauce, the mayo, the chipotle sauce are all at the top. And the way that I solved that issue was just patting my Nutribullet down, and it brought down the mayo. But it did blend all together. It did come out well. So if you want to use a Nutribullet, if that's all you have, then use it because it did come out, it did turn out well for me. But I think it would be easier for you to do it in a, in a blender. But I just like to not wash so many dishes, so that's why I use the Nutribullet. And there you have it, the Chipotle mayo. The only issue that I had was that some of the mayo remained at the top. So I just used a spatula and mixed it all up. And you wanna place it in a mason jar just so that it can preserve longer in your refrigerator. And if you want more sauce, just double the recipe. I just didn't wanna make a huge batch and it spoil in the refrigerator. And there you have it guys, vegan chipotle mayo. Hope you enjoy and always remember, be real, not perfect. <laughs>